So here I am again. Um, this is a week later after having that other nice rud. Um, it's nice, it's 8 degrees and I've just plonked all my gear on the bank. Uh, I can't hear any splashes yet from rud but uh, give it another half an hour uh, the sun will start to come up and fingers crossed they'll start to show on the surface and we'll uh, go back in again and uh, see if we can catch some more really nice rud. So like I say you want to get like a half an hour to an hour just as the sun's coming up but uh, it's a lovely morning uh, like I say it's 8 degrees it's not too windy so uh, all I have to do now is sit put a little bit of bread in and uh, wait and see so I can see those swirls with them big rud going for the bread on the surface yeah so this is uh, what early morning fishing is all about uh, put a little starlight on because it's going to be light in about 20 minutes but I've just heard a, a rud already in the reeds so fingers crossed we're going to uh, have a fish shortly what I'm doing right now I know you can't see it but um, I've just got my, uh, my float just next to the reeds and I'm trotting past the weeds uh, there's a little bit of flow on the canal so I'm just letting it go down past the reeds and uh, see if I get a sail away bite and uh, see if we can uh, hook one of those big rud yeah you can see all the lilies starting to come up now on the uh, opposite bank oh no oh no 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 this is not what I wanted to bloody see oh, this is a big fish this one oh this was a a big fish no that was a that was a big fish this one look at those scales that was either a bream I think it's probably a big bream uh, could have been now nah, it's definitely I think it's a big bream this one that's bet the dust by the otter that is another less fish for the canal and that is a less fish for me to catch it's a really really shame soon there's not going to be many big fish left in this canal due to the otter sad times very sad times and it's only going to get worse Well, another big rud landed, a beautiful fish, absolutely enormous for a canal. Now that is a beast of a rud. I mean, it's really, really thick, took bread on the surface, looks like it's been uh, attacked by a pike, but, uh, oh, I mean, the colours on this are absolutely fantastic. I mean, just look how fat she is absolutely unbelievable fish for a, a canal and especially up here as well and uh, I'm pretty lucky to catch this one to be fair because I thought the otters had got them all but uh, just goes to show you early morning really does pay off beautiful there we are another big canal rud in my net just giving it a rest before she goes back because I don't want her to be pike food and she's a big fish so as I see she's got 
some strength there, but we'll give her a bit more of a rest. And so I think she's a bit stuck in the net there. Let's see if I can help her out there. Look at that. There we go. She'll rest in the bottom of the net now, now there for, I'll give her five minutes before release. There you go, you beautiful rod. Back in to your watery home. What a beast. What a beast. Off you go. There you go. What a beast. Beautiful. Well, we've done it again. Another huge rod from the canal early morning. Look at that pristine rud and you can see it's a true rud the blood red fins absolutely a stonking canal rud early morning bread flake absolutely fantastic what a superb fish I'm having a good season I've actually found the rud on the canal which is good beautiful like I say you can see it's a true rud by the red fins and the bottom part of the mouth is longer than the top whereas with the roach the top lip is longer than the bottom beautiful another big canal rod going in what a superb specimen of a fish there we go Mr Rudd taking a first breaths yeah, make sure she's recovered well before release because I'd hate to have a pike grab hold of her. That wouldn't be any good for anybody. There she goes. Big rod. Oh, she's coming back into the side now, look.